Hey, this is Robert Plank from WPImport.com, and I have a really quick message for you today, and it's just one word, and it's relax. It's okay. It's fine. It's going to be okay. You don't have to stress so much about this dreaded thing called traffic. Now, when people are talking or they're worried about traffic, what are they saying? They're saying, you know, I'm, I'm spending so much time posting on Twitter, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, I'm running paid ads, I'm on all these platforms, and you know, if you're overwhelmed or you're overthinking traffic, well, it's okay, you're like a lot of people out there, but there are people out there who aren't succeeding and those that are succeeding, and the ones that aren't succeeding are so overwhelmed that they can't even begin. Can you relate? Are, are you so stuck just spending a couple of seconds on each platform per day that you don't even know what you're doing? Well, the answer is to simply focus on just a couple of channels. And that way you can get the big results that you need. I mean, I was blown away when I first heard about people who were going after clients one-on-one, -on -one, right? Contacting local businesses, making phone calls, sending emails, going door to door, and when I heard about that, I heard, okay, well, you go and you, you look for new ways to get customers. I imagined in my head that these people were going after two, three, four people a day. And they said 50 people a day, 100 people a day. And the same is true as far as your content marketing. I mean, if you see these people who are really crushing it on Facebook, they're cranking out the graphics all the time. They're coming up with new ideas all the time. And when you see people who are running Facebook ads, YouTube ads, you usually don't see just one ad they're running. They mix it up. You see all kinds of different ads they have going on. And so you need to have a similar approach in that, well, if you want to focus on YouTube ads, that's great. But if you want to focus on content marketing, you need to have a lot more output than you think. And I have a tool that I think can help you with this quite a bit, and it's called WP Import. And let me just explain what the idea is behind uh, this whole content marketing thing and, and why a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people are thinking about how do I craft this really beautiful and smart blog post? And I'm thinking you need to be putting lots of things out there to see what people actually like. No one cares about how smart you are, but they do care if you can solve their problem. So if you're a local plumber or you're working for a local plumber or you're just a marketer and you say, you know, I'm gonna contact the plumbers in my town and I'm gonna go out there with my cell phone and I'm gonna film them doing some really common plumber stuff. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we could go to YouTube, right? And what would happen, what would cause someone to search for a, pro a solution to a problem that would lead them to needing a plumber? Maybe they'd say clogged toilet. Now, what are these videos that show up? Well, how about this? A million views, and it's literally two and a half minutes. Two million views, and it's literally four minutes. Two million views, and it's literally three minutes. So when you stop thinking about all the, the stuff I just have to spew out or all the ways I'm going to be overwhelmed, why not look at what already exists and figure out a way how you can put out, not a copy, but your own version of that. Okay, so in my case, if I wanted to say, well, install WordPress, and I would, I, I get excited just seeing all the videos that are already out there of four million views of this guy just showing how to install WordPress, uh, views on how to just 10 minutes on how to install WordPress. So in whatever your industry is, whether you're brick and mortar and you say, I want to target dentist plus my city name, then think about what happens if someone types in Dennis Sacramento. So these things uh, show up and you can say, okay, well, people have one minute or five minute videos. I'm going to see what's popular. I'm going to see what already gets a lot of views so I can put out my own version of that. But the problem is instead of people just going out and doing it, what happens? You get hung up on the technical details, don't you? Don't lie, it's okay to admit it. I can admit it too. I sometimes get hung up on the technicalities of what it is that we need to do. And here's, again, what I mean, is that people will say, well, there's duplicate content. I can't make a video about spa dentistry or about the tooth station or about afraid of the dentist because someone's already beat me to it. Or they even say things like, well, I can't buy a pack of 
articles or I can't go and grab YouTube content and put it on my site, except for here's what I say is I'm just going to a random news site and then I'll find a random news article. So we're gonna go back at least a few hours back, right? And we'll, we'll see this. I just randomly clicked on this the first time I'm seeing it. New York seeking to ban pedestrians from texting, comma, checking emails. So I'll copy that. I'll put it in a Google search with quotations around it and we'll see what comes up. We'll see how many people are reporting on New York seeking to ban pedestrians. So we found this on this KTLA.com, but it's also on Stories Flow. It's also on some of the, on followNews.com, there's a bunch. And so when there's a news story out there, then it's it doesn't just appear on one page on one site. It appears on multiple places. You might even see that when we have this page right here, it's coming in on CNN Wire. So there's some sort of copying syndication things. And that's what news is, right? News comes on the wire and other people copy it. Now, do other people copy it verbatim? Well, probably not. You could probably find this uh, news story, this article on multiple news sites. So we hover over this, we see that this is from WPIX, so somewhere on the East Coast, maybe Chicago, maybe New York State. So all of these, these CBS, I think, news affiliates here, these CW uh, news stations, they all get copies of the same news article, but they make a few little changes, right? They make their headline unique, they change up some of the text, but for the most part, they are not concerned with this silly thing called duplicate content. And so you can think of this in the same way, is if you have any kind of a business where you wanna have any kind of buyers, any kind of customers, it's in your best interest to show people that you know what you're talking about. I mean, if you're a dentist, what's the harm in putting out some videos talking about flossing or talking about dental care? If you're that plumber, why not talk about some routine maintenance that needs to be done? And so yeah, you can and should have some sort of content out there for your business because it's better to have it than not have it. And it's not that much work to put it out there, especially if and when you use our WP import plugin. And let me show you what I mean. Is we have this WordPress site right here and there's nothing on it. And I just started with a blank WordPress site to show you what we're what going to create. And it's okay if you have a blank site, no site, a site with something on it, more content is, is better, right? And so what we can do is you can uh, go on some of these freelancing sites or you can buy a pack of articles and you can upload a zip file of articles. And I apologize for being a little technical, but basically you can pay someone $50, $100 to get five or 10 articles, blog posts written for you and they will deliver it in this special format, in this kind of packed together format here that's called a zip file. And we can double click on it and then what shows up here is just all these text documents where this might be, are there any good restaurants on uh, Patia's Walking Street? And so what these are here are just different like restaurant and, and wine sort of articles. So we're gonna use this as a, as a test, but we can say that uh, maybe, maybe you bought these or maybe you had them done. And what we can do is use our WP import plugin and import all of these 154 blog posts onto our blog. Now, is that not a time saver? I mean, if I said, go out there and write 154 blog posts, maybe you'd get back to me in five or 10 years, or you could click a button and have it done. So let me show you here. We're gonna take this zip file and put it onto our WordPress blog. And so we're gonna to go to our WP import page. So this is a plugin that you can claim for yourself at wpimport.com and you can choose to set this to post on any day of the week. You can set this to, so we can say uh, post it today. We can post it weekly or daily or things like that. We can put it in a category, but let's just see what happens. So we're gonna click on choose file. We're going to double click on our wine articles and maybe we'll preview this first and see what comes up. So we'll preview what these all are and here we go. We have 
restaurant owners, 16 quick tips eating at restaurants, five tips, so we can load up our site with all these tips, all these articles, see this? So if we, uh, if we let this post as is, we could have a new article posting every single day from May all the way to October. So how awesome would that be if every single day of the week you had something posted scheduling out from now until October? And what we can do here is we can just click on continue and give it a second and it will put all of these 154 articles right there on our site. And even before it's finished, let's just go and look at our site as it's still cranking things out. And here we go. We have this article with all, all these listings and this is a starting point for other content that you can put and load up your blog with. You can go and add YouTube videos on here. You can reword things. Uh, you can do all these different things. And so it's just cranking away and it's putting all of these articles on our, our site. And once it's done, well, actually, you know what, you know what it's doing? One article is live and the rest are going to play out over time. So we can go look at our posts here and we can see that we have two articles that are live, but then 72 of them are scheduled, and the more we refresh, we can see that more and more of them, now it's 87, and in a couple of seconds, it'll be completely done. So once these are all here, you can choose to have a, a virtual assistant or someone come in and change up the titles and add some extra links, uh, add some PDF freebies, add affiliate links, change up the, the titles, things, change up the dates. So it's easier to have a starting point and then move on from there than it is to just completely be stuck and going on from scratch. And so this WP import plugin allows you to do things like that. But not only that, because with WP import, what we can do as well is we can, let, let's say we wanted to make just one single post. So we can go post, add new, and normally when you're going to make a post on your site, what happens? You're like, I have no idea what to write for a title or for the content. But you see here, WP Import allows us, if we want to add a restaurant article, we would just type in our keyword. We click on search. Oh, doesn't work because we misspelled restaurant. So if we search it correctly, now we can see well, we can eat, eat out to lose weight and we can hover over and see what comes up. We can say popular franchise companies, many types of franchises. So we can say, I don't want to talk about franchises, but maybe like, I don't know, bakery. And maybe we'll say delightful dessert delivered from disaster. We can choose this article and click on import and, and instantly here, now this article about New Orleans, Nolens, and Mardi Gras is right here and we can choose to publish it, we can choose to rename it, we can choose to change the date, backdate it, send it out, but isn't that super easy? You type a keyword and then instantly, just like that, a content appears on your site and this searches our special database of 28,000 articles which you can ping and have access to as long as you want as long as you get that WP import plugin. And you know what's a final easy tip that I hope by just by you seeing this uh, eases your fears and ho helps you to relax and helps you to just get some things done is that with WP import we can enter content manually. So here's what's really interesting is we can choose to put out content on our site and we'll say, I want to post a new article once a week and I'll just go ahead and get that ready to go and check out what this does is it adds all these placeholders where we now can type out 25 blog posts in one place. And every Monday at a random time of day, we can make a new post. Now, here's what is a very helpful tool for you and your content marketing is YouTube, because let's say you were that plumber and we can say plumbing tips and we can search here and we can say 15 genius plumbing hacks. We can say, uh, let's see. So there's like kitchen sink stuff. So like if someone's looking for ways to fix the kitchen sink, oh, how to replace and install a kitchen. Maybe we'll like say fix kitchen sink, leaky sink, perfect. 
and then we'll say fix garbage disposal. So again, if you are uh, someone who delivers uh, plumbing tips or you're a, a local plumber or you know one, what if you just set up a blog and you grabbed each of these YouTube videos. Now that's the beauty of YouTube is they let you and they want you to take these YouTube links and embed them onto your site. But there's no rule saying that you can't add your own text above and below, you can't add your own links, you can't add your own title. YouTube is all about sharing. So what we can do is we can click on this share link, right click and copy the YouTube link. So that's the garbage disposal. And we can say, uh, help fixing garbage disposal and then paste in that YouTube link and because it's a, a WordPress site this video will just magically appear next we can switch back to our links here and say What's genius up? plumbing hacks so we'll right click and copy here and then we'll go back to our page here and we'll say genius plumbing hacks and a, a quick tip for you is to add the year to your title. That way, if someone's looking for something that's up to date, Plumbing Hacks 2020, Plumbing Hacks 2019, add that YouTube link. And then we can switch back and grab the last one. All right, today the first one, I'm gonna change Because the what you're stream. doing is you're looking to solve the problems people have. If someone's problem is a leaky sink or if there's a problem with the bathroom drain, they're desperate for that solution. And they might go and they might look and uh, get the information they need from you and then keep you in mind the next time they need a plumber, next time they need plumbing tips, or maybe they'll go to try to fix it and because they're doing it at home themselves, it doesn't quite work or it gets them by that weekend and when it really breaks, then they need you and maybe they'll look you up or maybe you'll have a pixel on your site so that way you can begin running ads to them, who knows? But Or maybe you can even uh, capture their leads. So we can say, finally, how to fix a leaky sink and right click and paste that so now we have three blog posts and now it saves you the trouble of saying add new post add new post you just add all this stuff in here and then we can continue whoops we can let's see that they get live there well normally you could click continue and then those those videos would appear on there so i i think i tripped some sort of uh security thing but anyway we'll we'll do this one last thing so let me let me show you this we had some kind of weird error so we can say enter post manually we can say fix a leaky sink and paste all our youtube links in there all right not sure why that didn't work right there but anyway uh I, you get the idea of how we can uh, go through there and grab YouTube links and then load up our site with all of this different content. And let's say that we either loaded up the YouTube links or we paid for content or we typed in that search box and loaded a lot of stuff up. If we said, you know, we added 153 posts here and we decided we made a mistake, maybe we didn't like how these were spaced out, uploaded the wrong file, whatever, we can look at our site right here and right now there's this one that's live, but there's also this list uh, of posts here. And you might be saying to yourself, it's all this stuff, but if I, if I decided I messed up, how do I delete all these? We can go back here and click on undo import and just to uh, uh, minimize your fears, lessen your fears, if you put some of this content on your blog and you messed up, you can just roll back, undo. Now everything you just did has been blown away. These are uh, the draft posts we made from when we were searching, but when we made that huge upload with those 153 files, all the restaurant wine stuff, now that's been rolled back. So I'm hoping that this helps you see things on a bigger scale and not get too worried about little errors like whatever that was a second ago and just move ahead despite the fear and don't let all the overwhelm and all the fast paced nature of social media get to you because it can be easy if you let it.
if you use the right tool, if you use a tool such as WP Import, where you can add content based on a keyword, where you can upload a file that you bought some rights to and then change things up later or not, you can hire someone to write you a huge pack of articles and dump them all in, or even enter all of these posts manually, and you can just go down the list and say, here's the title, here's the post, here's the title, here's the post, and just get it loaded up with all this different content. So go out there and get at least a blog set up and get at least a few helpful blog posts set up. And again, these can be uh, articles that you pulled from our database, had hired, or go out and grab a few YouTube links like I showed you and then add your own text links or discussion below that and the, the point of all this is to help people solve problems. It's so that when they're making a Google search for how to fix a leaky faucet, and hypothetically, if you were a plumber, you would want to appear in some of these search results. And maybe you can't outrank Lowe's, maybe you can't outrank Home Depot, but if you were searching for leaky faucet Modesto, maybe you could come up in some of these mom and pop listings and this i keep seeing this technique over and over because i was even searching today for free sans serif fonts and it's okay if you don't know what kind of font a sans serif font is but you might find websites that uh, offer fonts for download but i clicked on this blog post that had a list of helpful sans serif fonts and to my surprise the site that offered this is a site called Canva. And this is a, a graphics tool that you might have heard of that people use to generate social, uh, to generate graphics for social media. And so what does Canva do? Well, do they have any reason to write blog posts? Well, probably not, but they said, we're in the, the fonts and graphic design niche. So we're gonna put out some blog posts about fonts and graphic design. So there's no harm in you looking like an authority to other people and there's no harm in getting in front of all these hungry buyers and all these people who are looking to solve these desperate problems, whether it's to fix a leaky faucet or it's to find a restaurant in town or it's to find the perfect font for their graphics. If someone is looking in this case for a good font, then they might be a good fit or a good user for someone uh, to use an online graphics editor. So that's a lot of things to think about, but I hope that you go out there and do some things and then readjust because it's just no fun to wonder what could have been, to have the regret, to let yourself get a mile wide and an inch deep. I'd rather you get an inch wide and a mile deep and really drill down and get a lot of content, videos, posts out there. And a very helpful tool for you to get that done is WPImport.com. So go ahead and click on it. You're gonna be shocked at how low the price is and you're gonna be shocked at some of the bonuses we throw in there because we want you to succeed with content marketing, with your WordPress blog, and I think you can and will do it if you have the right tools to work with, including WP Import. So I'm Robert Plank, go ahead, do it right now. Go to WPImport.com and we'll see you there. Thank you.